My family is going to Argentina for six months. We are leaving the beginning of June and we're coming back mid-December and it's time to pack. We leave two weeks from when I'm filming this and so we're getting close. It's also the last week of school for my daughter. We're also going to get our visas so we can buy our airline tickets this week. So there's a lot of stuff I, I can't pack yet because we're using it. But when my daughter's out of school, I'm gonna start going through her stuff with her and having her pick out toys. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna kind of show you the suitcases that we have, the packing cubes that I'm using, the things that I'm using to pack, and I'm gonna get a head start on packing a little bit to see how much space we have and if I need to buy more suitcases. All right, let's talk packing strategy. So for context, I've been traveling internationally since I was five. My grandparents lived in Germany and we would go and spend summers there, Christmases there, and we would stay in their house in Munich and then we would travel all over Europe. And then my dad, because of his job, was traveling internationally multiple times a year and we would often go with him or we would meet him somewhere because he spent six weeks doing a project somewhere and we would meet him at the end of that project and do kind of a little family vacation. So I've traveled a lot. That's actually how my website started was my mom convinced me to start documenting my traveling and my my travel tips, I have a lot of them. I have packed in a 21 inch carry-on for 10 days in Europe, bag, bag dragging between four countries in the winter. I, I know how to pack, I know how to travel. And so some of the things that I want to share with you that are very important when it comes to packing in general, but for a big trip like this. So like I said, we each have three bags, one off fourth bag, and that'll be helpful. Even though we each technically have our own bag, because the majority of these bags are going to be checked, the checked bags, it's gonna have everybody's stuff throughout all of them. Because if you lose a bag, if, if a bag gets lost or it gets delayed, then all of the stuff that's in that bag, you don't have. And so if I put all of my daughter's stuff in one bag, then, and that bag gets lost, then all of her stuff is gone. And if you're new here, she's autistic and that would be really bad. And I wouldn't like it if my stuff, it happened to my stuff and it would be really bad if it happened to the baby or my husband. So. The best thing to do is to take the bags that I do have. So I have eight larger bags that we are checking and I'm going to spread stuff out throughout those eight checked bags. I will put my clothes, the baby's clothes, my daughter's clothes, my husband's clothes, like some of each of those in a bag. Some of each of our clothes in another bag. Some toys in another bag, if that makes sense. And on and on until we've filled up all eight bags and maybe we need more bags. We will see, <laughs> hopefully not. Also, in our packing cubes, I will have clothes for each of us, several sets of clothes in our carry-ons so that when we get to our destination, if for some reason all of our bags are missing, we have clothes for a few days. Also, you want to make sure you have basic toiletries in your carry-on, things that you don't wanna to have to go repurchase. Obviously, we're going somewhere where we're gonna be living for a while and so we're gonna to have to end up buying stuff anyway. That stuff, I'll check in bags. And obviously, I can't take my hair dryer in my carry-on along with all the other stuff I need to take in my carry-on. So I have to balance that out. But just keep that stuff in mind when you're packing because it's really important when you're taking this many pieces of luggage, you're going for an extended period of time and you have this many people to pack for. So I have luggage for each of us. We're each gonna have at least a set of three. We do actually have one tiny, tiny one that fits inside of another carry-on. So we'll have four small carry-ons. I'm waiting on one more piece for that far set and then one piece for this blue set. I tried to supplement what we are already had. So the two, the rose gold one and that very, very light pink one, those two big ones, plus these two, the black and the blue one. Those were our original ones and I tried to supplement those with others that I could find that had locks on them, like these do, that were bright colors so they could be easily found if they get lost, and that were also expandable. And all but that one right there fit into that category. That one right there is my daughter's. It is for her to be able to ride on, like she can sit on it, so it's a chair wherever she needs it to be, which is ideal. So let's see how far I can get packing wise and what I can get in these bags. This is my daughter's stuff so far. Obviously these are not all of her clothes or her toys. I'm kind of waiting for school to be out to start doing all of her packing, but I wanted to get a jump start on it and see kind of what we have to work with, how much space we have. This is my son's stuff. He probably is gonna have the least amount of stuff. There aren't a whole lot more clothes to add to this. So that's, that's nice. And then over here are my clothes. These are just my winter clothes. I still have all my spring summer clothes in my closet here because I'm packing those probably in the few days before we leave, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. <laughs> 
I have our Eagle Creek packing cubes and packing envelopes that I will be utilizing to kind of make it a little bit easier to pack, but also to give us some clothes to change into when we get there because it will be a lot colder when we get there than from where we're leaving from. Um, because for the most part, I'm going to be packing our clothes in these because I feel like that way we'll get more in the bags and get more usage of our weight limit. So let's see how much I can get into one of those compression bags. Turns out it's a lot. Will this fit? In, this will fit in this bag. That is great news. So let's get this in here. Let's see how much room I have left. I just have a combination of my clothes, the baby's clothes, and my daughter's clothes. Awesome! It only takes up one side. That is perfection. Let's see what else I can get in this bag. So I've talked about this. This is the bed tent. That fits in the small one. Just wait. Let me check these out. Don't need those. I'm going to put some shoes in here too. That's my bag of bags. These are the Hunter Travel Rain Boots. They just roll right up, which is really, really nice. I've had these probably for eight or nine years now. I absolutely love them because they fold up really nice. My other boots are going to fold up really nice too. I'm going to try and put shoes in here again, a kind of a balance of my shoes and kids shoes, my husband's shoes so that no one person has all of their stuff in one bag. Are you sensing a theme here? I am very much trying to see how much room that we're going to have in these bags once I get a large compression bag of clothes in it and then some other items because I'm just going to have to stuff stuff in random places to see where it fits just to get everything there in the long run. Like my husband wants to take his mandolin. As you can see here, I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but we're gonna see what we can do. This one still has space in it. I'm gonna leave it be for now, but it definitely has space. After packing a few more bags, I'm getting more confident in being able to fit everything where I want it to go and being able to get everything in the bags that I already have. I don't think I'm gonna need to get any more bags. I do want to test out getting stuff into my daughter's suitcase. I have her my fold booster seat along with this bag that's going to be all of her stuff for the airplane. I will do a separate video on that and what I'm putting in there. And then I've got her blow up like footstool thing that you can put in front of her seat, like between her seat and the seat in front of her to give her like that inflatable bed so that she can sleep on the plane because we're not getting business seats, which is fine. We will make this work. We will hopefully have the kids sleep on this flight. It is a red eye. We leave at like 1040 at night and we'll get there at about nine o'clock in the morning. And so we're really hoping that the kids will sleep on this. And I wanted to test this thing out to make sure that it still worked and it did. So since this is my daughter's carry on, she'll have this and then a backpack as well. I want to make sure that we can fit some stuff that she needs for the flight in this bag. And I think I'm doing just fine with that. There doesn't seem to be any issues. So that's a relief. And I wanted to do this with her bag just to test it out because this is a new bag. My husband and I have been packing in the same suitcases for years. And so we know that our stuff fits in those suitcases. I'm not worried about that at all. So while I'm not showing you every single piece of luggage and what's in every single piece of luggage as I'm packing. I will definitely show you all of the stuff as I unpack later. So be sure to follow and subscribe so that you can see how we got all of our stuff to Argentina if it actually all fit.